Hey guys, so today I'm not actually doing a review. I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about the Pirates of the Caribbean series since there's a new one coming out tomorrow. I guess I could have reviewed all the individual movies, but to be honest, the series I don't think really is that interesting to review all of them. So I'm just going to kind of talk about what I think about them overall, the filmmaking aspects of it, and honestly, I'm not really crazy about these movies. They're not bad. They're certainly decent. At least the first three are. I'm talking about the trilogy first, then I'm talking about the fourth movie a little bit. And the original trilogy is fine. It's not bad. The problem is the first one is a very solid adventure movie. I think that movie is actually really decent. Uh, the other two are just decent. And the first one has some of the same problems as the other two. But the thing is, as the series went along, those problems got more magnified. To the point where by the time we got to At World's End, it was just absolutely convoluted and stupid. A big problem the series has had is since the first one, they've tried to make like this world building aspect of it. And it's completely uninteresting. All it does is make the movies drag on and on and on. Every single film in the franchise, even the first one, is just way too freaking long. There's no reason that these movies need to be two hours and thirty minutes plus. At World's End is nearly three hours for absolutely no reason. And the fourth one's only two fifteen, and yet it feels like a two hour and thirty minute movie because it is just god awfully boring. And there are two main negatives of I mean, it that hang over the series and why it makes it so boring. The first one is there are no stakes in any of these movies. If you think these action scenes have any actual weight to them, you're wrong. There is nothing to this movie when it comes to building action scenes where there actually is any meaning. Every character, there is no sense of death because tons of characters just come back. It doesn't matter if they get stabbed. Half of them are immortal, so it doesn't even matter if you're having a sword fight because, well, they can't die. And it just causes the series to have these pointless action scenes that are completely overblown and completely uninteresting. And what causes these lack of stakes most of the time is the humor in these movies. I know that some people think this is somehow a selling point, but my problem with the humor is that while occasionally it works, it has that problem when the jokes aren't funny. There's no funny jokes. It's just that, hey, if we say something in a funny way, it'll be funny. But there's no joke, so it gets so old after Captain Jack Sparrow says something in a funny way for the 50th time in that movie. It's not entertaining, it's not funny, and because they're having these witticisms while they're all fighting each other, there's no tension to any of these scenes. Their lives are feeling like they're in danger. Why are they cracking jokes if they're supposed to feel this? Oh, it's just so irritating in every scene in these movies. And I can sort of forgive it in the first one, and they just get magnified in the other two, just like I said at the beginning. Like, at World's End, spoiler here, I'm just going to talk about spoilers. If you have not seen At World's End, don't keep watching, but... Literally, Orlando Bloom and Keira Knightley's characters... Elizabeth Swan and Will Turner get married in the middle of a climactic battle scene and it's so freaking stupid I just why do people like these? I just don't get it. I also have a problem with some of the characters though in general they pass but in the first movie Captain Jack Sparrow actually felt like a person. Yes he was weird and off the wall and a little bit quirky but he felt like he was sort of grounded in reality. And by the time he got around to World's End, he had just become a complete parody of himself. And I don't even want to talk about the fourth movie, because that's just so stupid. Also, Will Turner, Orlando Bloom's character, is so underplayed half the time. Orlando Bloom isn't really bad at it, but there's not really a lot to his character. He supposedly likes Captain Jack Sparrow by the end of the movie, and then at the beginning of Dead Man's Chest, he says he isn't his friend, and he's only an acquaintance, and then he tries to kill Jack multiple times, and then he switches allegiances like four times in that world's end. 
there's just no consistency to his character. And Elizabeth Swan has this supposed character arc that is completely forced. Because in the first one, she's just kind of like a, you know, a wealthy girl who gets kidnapped. And that causes her to have to deal with these pirates, which is wacky. And then in the second one, she starts to kind of, you know, keep for her own. But the problem is, all of a sudden, she doesn't know how to sword fight without ever telling us how she learns how to sword fight. So all of a sudden, she's just supposed to be, like, on the level of Will Turner and Captain Jack Sparrow, and it's like, when the hell did this happen? And then, in the third one, she somehow becomes a pirate captain at the end, at, like, in the middle of the movie, when the dude from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon gives her his title. And then, literally, like, 30 minutes later, she becomes Pirate King! Like... There's no character development here. It's just awful. Kiera Knightley, not her fault at all. She does an okay job, I guess. But this character is just so stupidly written. I don't understand, like, why she likes Will Turner, why Will Turner likes her. There's just nothing to the characters, really. And the actors actually sell it a lot more than they pro than. They probably should, but it's just embarrassing to me to see that people praise these movies as somehow being classics, especially the first one, when they're so obviously flawed. So I will briefly talk about the fourth one, but honestly, there's nothing really to say about the fourth one because nothing of interest happens. It doesn't even feel like a Pirates movie, because Orlando Bloom and Keanu Knightley aren't even in it. You introduce tons of new characters that are super uninteresting. Penelope Cruz, who's a good actress, is terrible in that movie. And Ian McShane, bless his heart, fantastic actor, just does nothing for me in Blackbeard. And what they're going for, The Fountain of Youth, completely uninteresting. And even though it's the shortest one in the franchise, it's still so long and so boring because there's no actual conflict once again. The movie doesn't even feel like it exists. Like, I've heard this new one is kind of like a soft reboot, and if that's the case, it's going to make 4 feel even more irrelevant to the rest of the franchise, because 4 just literally feels like a cash grab, because legit, barely any of the original characters return, besides, of course, Jack Sparrow, and it just feels like it's just some kind of, like, side story that wasn't even really necessary to film. It doesn't even, like, look like a good professional movie. It looks like they filmed it on a nothing budget. So, I'm just going to wrap it up now. Uh, I'm seeing Pirates 5 tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be good, though I've heard it's just more of the same. Um, but what do you think of the Pirates movies? I'm sure many of you like them more than I do. Comment below. If you like this video, you can like it and subscribe if you want to get more great reviews. I'm going to be putting out Lots more reviews in the future. Obviously, I'm seeing Pirates 5 this tomorrow. It's going to get a review for that. Wonder Woman's next week. And I'm going to be very much seeing at least one movie, hopefully, every day, week of the summer. So, we'll see how that works out. But, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.